Tigers and Angels ready to wrap up their series here at Comerica Park. Matt Manning's making his third start of the second half, six since his return from the I.L. Zach Neto leading things off. Strikes him out to start game two. We talk so much about Shohei Otani's sweeper. This one's just right up there. Look at the break on that thing. That's got a little bit more downward action, but it's well located and a beautiful breaking slider to start this game off. So here's Otani. Over 100 pitches, complete game shutout, one that wrapped up less than an hour ago, and Shohei is back out there for the nightcap. Strike three call. Otani strikes out for the fifth time in the series already. So here's Mickey Moniak who picked up his hitting streak with a sixth inning double in the opener. Full count pitch home. And Moniak sends the ball well struck out to left center field. McKinstry and Veerling are back and that one's off the base of the wall. Boy that could have got real interesting if it got by Veerling in center field. The 0-2. Swinging the ground ball to short. Charging fielding the shoulder high bounce. Baez will flip it over to Torkelson. Ward grounds out. Double does no harm. Like the stuff in the first inning from Matt Manning. Start number 18 for Patrick Sandoval coming this afternoon. Really good numbers against the Detroit Tigers in his career again as we went on the air and showed you a complete game for him. Last time he pitched in this ballpark last summer. Popped him up. Good change up there for Sandoval. Escobar playing first base in the nightcap for out number one. The 3 2 way up and away. Not close. A complete misfire on the 3 2. Here we go on a full count pitch home. Ibanez stays put. And there is ball four to Torkelson. So that pitch was in the strike zone. It's back to back one out walks. A one hopper for Neto who makes a great play. Throw to second and they do turn the double play. Not a good read for Ibanez at second soft line drive. Neto just kind of leaned down to his right to grab it. Bobbled it but Ibanez was so far off the base he had plenty of time to double him off. Tigers get two walks do not score. Mike Moustakis leads off the Angels half of the second and ending into a scoreless tide. And once again lined into left center. Only thing different about that knock was that it doesn't come at the end of a 3-2 count. 3-1 home. And that misses for ball four. Luis Renjifo digs in. The switch hitter batting ninth here in game two after leading off Tuesday night. A drive well hit out to right center field. Carpenter's on the dead run heading for the deepest part of the ballpark and off the wall. It'll score Moustakas easily. Here's Escobar right behind him. Another triple for Renjifo in the series. 2-0 Halos. Boy, he's been crushing that ball right to the deepest part of the yard. I thought off the bat that had a chance is a three-run home run ends up being a two-run triple. This ball was crushed. 103.9 miles per hour exit velocity. So on a breaking ball, crushed it. To the top of the order and Zach Neto. Zach sends that out to shallow center field. Veerling coming on, he won't get there. Ren Hippo scores, three nothing Angels. Just making some contact, falls in nicely, a little flare. Shohei looking for his first hit of the series. Some clapping for Shohei who goes to the opposite field. Get going, yeah! His major league leading 37th oppo shot. And remember, he threw a shutout in game one of this doubleheader. And then he hits an opposite field rocket out. And the cheers here at Comerica Park for Shelly Otani. That's unreal. Simply unreal. Exit velocity of 107.6. Tigers need to generate some offense. They're down five. Make it two hits. A leadoff single for Zach Short. And that's a good start. I don't know that it's necessarily gone really smooth for Patrick Sandoval so far. Fearling in the leadoff spot in game two. Off the glove of Sandoval. His only play is at first. And Escobar can't catch it. Short on his way to third. The Tigers have runners at the corners. Now he faces Spencer Torkelson with runners at the corners. This is playable on the charge. A high throw, and the tag made to get Torkelson. Moustakas throws out Torkelson, a run does score. Tigers are on the board for the first time today. Kerry Carpenter hoping to tack on another. Ground ball into right field for a base hit. Veerling will score. Carpenter has driven in the Tigers' second run here in the third. Kerry Carpenter says, I just want to hit anyway. I didn't want to get hit. That's that slider, and it's a good one. Down and away from Kerry Carpenter with those long arms. He goes out and gets it and lines that up the middle. Drives in another run for the Tigers. 
It's kind of thick right now after the Tigers respond with a couple runs. See if the offense can jump right back. They've been great as far as responding to runs. High and deep into the corner in right field. Carpenter giving chase down there near the 330 mark, and that one is gone! How he kept it fair was no small feat. Well, that's how you respond right away with a home run. Bresky, fifth in the season. And the Angels American League leading 159th homer of the year. Here's Otani now with two gone. First player in history to homer in one game of a doubleheader, throw a complete game in the other. Oh. oh, he got another one! Get going! Otani has done it again! Santa Maria! Complete game shutout. Check. Two homers in the nightcap. Check. But he grabbed his side or back after the swing. That was a rocket out. Incredible Shohei. Just hope he's okay. I, I, I can't believe this. Two home runs back to back. Unbelievable. That man threw a one hit shutout. In what? Game one, <laughs> what? Back, back home runs. We do want to show you the homer again and the reaction that Shohei had to the swing where he appeared to grab his lower back. On well, that side area, too. Or oblique, yeah. The stretch itself. You know, when you go nine innings like he did in game one, amazing what he's done again. It's 0-2 to Hunter Renfro from Trey Wingender. Oh, get up and go. Hunter Renfro is alive and well. Two doubles in the opener, part of a three-hit game. A homer here in the nightcap, and it's now 8-2 to two Halos. So four home runs hit today by the Halos. Four. One gone for Zach McKinstry. That's a fair ball by a diving Eduardo Escobar. McKinstry heads to second. It's a one-out <laughs> double for Zach McKinstry. But that's a good, solid, strong at-bat. A chopper to short. Oh, and Nettle bobbled it. That'll score a run for Detroit. Just a two hopper right at the hat and just in the transfer. Just falls right out of his glove. He's like, man, I can't believe that. Here's the next one, too. McKinstry sends that back up the middle of base hit. Baez is being waved around to score. Here's the throw into third base. Not in time on Rodgers, and that allows McKinstry to get to second. Oh, they called him out, though. Wow! A crew chief review. It looks like he lifted his leg up, and he's and off right the base. There. there. Got him. That's a nice play by Renhifo. Credit Luis Renhifo for stick to itiveness there. Man alive. After review, the call on the field is confirmed. The runner is out. Tough break for the Tigers right here. Had beaten the throw in plenty of time, but Renhifo kept the tag on him. He got the final out. Stefanik at third, Moniak at second, Ward at first. This is a Tigers lineup that scored four in the ninth on Tuesday. There, you go. there it is. You ask and you shall receive. Checks up in front of Carpenter. Two runs will score. Ten for hey. Angels. Good, buddy. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Couldn't resist. I just knew you were going to say that. There's another knock and another run. 11 for Angels. And three hits in this game for Renfro. Yeah, everyone's noticing now. After that trade last night, and playing baseball as well as anybody in the game. Best record. It is Jaime Berea trying to finish this with the final three outs of the day. A chopper over the mound. Velasquez to wrap up the day and wrap up the series. The Angels sweep three in Detroit after claiming game two of the doubleheader and 11-4 win in the nightcap.